but I prefer Assassin's Creed 2. Mainly because I absolutely adore that time period. I absolutely love the Renaissance time period. I remember in school when we were studying Renaissance and Italy and everything like that. I absolutely loved it. It was actually the most interesting thing to learn about because of how much I love Assassin's Creed and because of how much the world is so... It's so... It's the well... I can't explain it. It's like the era of art, which I absolutely find amazing. Everything looks beautiful. If, you if you've noticed, everything looks nice. Even if it's ruins, everything seems happy and cheerful, even if it's not. It's sort of like Guild Wars 2 again. It's very happy wherever you go. But Assassin's Creed, I don't think women aren't degraded. I mean, there's a very powerful woman in, in Assassin's Creed 2, Katarina. Katarina is a very powerful woman. Ezio's mother and sister, they're very powerful women. Um, and then you look in Brotherhood and the Borgias, the Borg Lucrezia Borgia is a very powerful woman. There are so many powerful women, woman characters in the game, even if they're not too featured and they have to be sort of secretive and they have to sly their way through everything. And it's a very devious world. Everyone's cheating on everybody and the and then you look at, there's also Christina, and everyone's, everyone's a mess. Everyone makes no sense in the world. I mean, you've got freaking fights happening in the street. People will come and attack you. I mean, you've got beggars everywhere. But if, if you're, if you have the right mindset, and you're in the right place in the world of Assassin's Creed 2, you'll be fine. I mean, if you look at the commoners, they have fun, they go to parties, um, like all the, all the nobles as well. They are very, very uh, capable of doing well and doing a good job. And basically, you look at some of the women and they're very powerful and they have very high standards. But then you think about it, then they're not that much less from prostitutes to a point, especially Katarina, she's very, whew, wow, when she lifts her dress up, that is a bit of an eye-opener to the world right there, yep, wow, she really just likes to go at it, apparently, wow, I can't believe I just said that, okay, um, Korean, what are you doing, but mainly I would like to live there because of the time period, and because it's the year of art. I could be an artist. I mean, you can open it up. I mean, there's Leonardo da Vinci. And then you've got some noble people. I could be a noble. If I'm not, then I'm a peasant. And then it's probably not that good for me. There's always something to do. There's always something to sell. There's always something to do. You can try and be whatever you want. It's not a, that much of a restricted society. But women, of course, are downgraded a little. Because they're women. And women have always been like that. It's just the nature but I would love to live there because of the world and the environment and the surroundings. That's my definitely main reason. So my number two, <laughs> I would like to live in the Guild Wars 2 game. Yep. Please put me there. I mean, you've got so many races, so many different diversities. You've got the Silvari, who are the tree people. You've got the Char, who are like big cats with horns. You've got the humans, who are humans. That's normal. You've got the Norns who are like, and you've got the Asura who are like little, little, little dwarfs. Yep, the Asura little dwarfs. That, that's not the comparison, but close enough. You've got so many places to choose to go to as well that you can actually go to from connecting to Lion's Arch, which is the place where all, every race will meet. Um... There's, the, there's Divinity's Reach, there's Holebreak, there's the Grove, there's Ratasam, there's the Black Citadel. There's so many places to go in Kryta Interior and you can just explore the realm. And women are not degraded at all in this, in this game at all. They all have special jobs to do. They can all pretty much do what they want in a way, like... They all have so much freedom, which is fantastic to see uh, in a game that women are not uh, portrayed as weak at all. 
you've got women who are ministers. The queen of, of, of the queen of Krita, or whatever it is. Um, I don't really pay attention much to the story. <laughs> is Queen Jenna. Um, you've got so many women. You've got soldiers that are women. The Vigil in the Priory in the Order of Whispers that are really high standard, really high regarded women that are so much control. And there are women who are they're bad. There are bad women who are part of the bad sort of part of underground. You've got women who are work as ta work at taverns. There's journalists. There's um, circus people who are in the circus. You've got so many jobs for women to do in this game that you're really like you're really lost for you're really spoiled for choice. I mean, the fact that women don't get pushed down at all is because of the fact that in this game it's like it's fantasy and it can be anything and it's not real and you have the freedom to choose what you want to be you can be an archer you can be whatever you want you can do what you want women can be what they want in this game and not be downgraded I love the universe of Guild Wars 2 I can travel everywhere Asuran gates are everywhere for me to go to and be where I want to be at whatever given time. The outfits are gorgeous. The world is beautiful. It's a beautiful place to live in because it's not depressing everywhere. You've got the, the cities are all gorgeous. The background, the very place, the, the outskirts of the city are so marvelous. Everywhere has a, pl a place, a time, and, a, there's a time and place for for you to be at a certain place where it's just beautiful. Like, no matter where you are, there is a sense of um, freedom and life in the game, even if you're in a place where you probably should be dead. I mean, even around the Risen, who are like little zombie creatures, if you walk a few miles this way, away from them, you're back in beautiful area again. Pastures and grassland, grasslands. So really spoiled for choice, which is why I would definitely be in the Guild Wars 2 universe. So my lucky number one, even though my uh, my um, reasons aren't going to be that strong, I think it's it's definitely just because of the era, and that one's going to have to be my number one. Number one, give a drum roll, please. Assassin's Creed Two slash Brotherhood. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> now I have my honorable mention. <laughs> now everyone's going to think I'm crazy. Because who would want to live in this world? Me, apparently, because I'm nuts. Now, if you think about it, you know, you could be safe. You could last. Maybe you won't. But if a little girl could do it, so can you. So, who wants to live in the Walking Dead universe with me? Zip, amount of people, surely. No one wants to live in the Walking Dead universe. Why do I want to live in the Walking Dead universe? I don't know. I think it's cool. I, I don't know. I don't find the idea of dying fun. But I feel like if you had... Half the time, I think that they, in the show and in the game, they make the characters so stupid. God, like, use your brain. Simple rules. Don't trust anyone off the whim. Don't. You've got to be hard. You've got to have a harder heart than that. Much harder. So then I'm just thinking, okay, maybe I could survive. I mean, I, I, you know, you take a knife, you put it in there, and, you know. But then, of course, you think, oh, well, I'm. it's most likely I'm going to die. I might get infected. I might fall over. And being me, I'm like, S these cuts on my fingers would get infected and I'd be probably dead in a week. But, I mean, come on, it would be an interesting experience. And it isn't certain that the world is going to end from that, is it? We never know. I mean, it's, it's never going to be in a zombie apocalypse. But if I was in The Walking Dead, it might get better. It might. There might be a chance. Anytime. You could go live on an island where no one's there. You could go find an island. I mean, then no one's going to come and get you. So you're fine. Zombies can't... Zombies can't, um, drive boats, so you're safe. So that's my honorable mention to you guys. 
I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked the video because I haven't posted in a while and I really wanted to make this video. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, yeah, I'm also going to put a, bit, a few little bloopers in the end because I stuffed up something really badly. And I think it's funny because I've stuffed it up three times and then I stuffed it out. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, I'm just going to put like a few little edits, like bloopers in the end. But um, yeah. Cool. Um, please like this video. Please leave a comment below. And of course, please subscribe to my channel because that would be amazing. I love you guys, your guys' support. And that would be absolutely beautiful. And I will make sure to make more videos soon. I'm sorry. Um, I love you guys. Have an amazing day, weekend, whatever you've got. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. In a row. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not doing well.